today we're going to be working on lead code question number 385 mini parser uh, given a string s represents the serialization of a nested list implement a parser uh, to deserialize it and uh, return the deserialized deserialized nested integer so basically if you have been given 325 you will be returning 324 but this one is a little bit more interesting so if you have been given this kind of a string what you're going to be when you whenever you're going to be looking uh, at the at the opening bracket uh, you're going to be actually saying that the uh, so you're going to be saying that an integer containing value of 123 so you're going to have this one and a nested list containing two elements it's going to have a nested list containing two elements and then when you go into the uh, nested list an integer containing the value of 365 and the second element is also a nested list with one element which is uh, 389 so again as they have said like we're going to be looking at different things uh, like we're gonna be looking at do you see an opening bracket then you're gonna actually you're gonna be putting things into a stack uh, you're gonna be putting uh, if you see a uh, uh, like an, a closing bracket you're gonna be done with uh, that particular element if you see a comma uh, like you're gonna be adding uh, like inside the stack you're gonna be adding the next element so again we're going to be looking at every single character and processing it. So for that, the first thing we can say that if the, the string is empty. Okay, if it is empty, what are we going to do? If it is empty, just return the null. Yep, if it is empty, it's going to be the null. Then, uh, we also have to take care of another special case like what if the character uh, at the beginning is not uh, like a look at this one example one what if the first character is not an opening bracket then in, in that case we can only expect a single entry so we are just gonna uh, take that string convert it to an integer and return it so it's a special case so we're gonna say that if s dot character at zero is not equal to for characters we actually use the single quotes here okay if that is the case uh, just convert that thing uh, integer dot value of s and then you're gonna say because we are expecting a nested integer so we're gonna say return new uh, nested integer okay yeah that should do it so okay okay once we are out of that we know that uh, it's gonna start with a uh, with, with 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 open brackets so we're gonna say that the stack we need a stack for that okay uh, the stack and then stack of nested integer let's call it stack which is equal to new stack okay uh, and the the current nested into uh, nested integer is gonna we're gonna set it to null okay then we our left side is gonna be zero right so basically it is gonna point to the uh, the beginning and the right side is actually gonna uh, uh, it's also gonna start from the uh, from the zero and it is gonna be uh, incrementing and it's gonna go up to the end so for int 
R, the right side, it's going to start with 0 and the R is less than S dot length and then R plus plus. Okay, then we're going to take our character which we are processing at the moment. Okay, uh, if that character is equal to opening bracket, we're going to say that uh, if the current is not null, right? If the current is not equal to null, if it is not equal to null, just put the current into the stack. Right. Otherwise, the current, basically in any case, whether it was null or not null, we already processed that. But we're going to say that the current is equal to new nested integer. And then uh, we're going to say our left is going to become equal to right plus 1. So we updated our uh, because we just opened, uh, we, we have seen this character, if we were processing something else, we just saved it into the stack and we updated our left to the to the current position. That okay, now we're going to start processing from the next one. That should take care of opening bracket. Okay, else if we see, let's deal with uh, what happens if we see a closing bracket. Okay, if we see a closing bracket, first of all, we know that we were processing something, so we're going to say that what is that number, the string uh, uh, number is going to be equal to s dot substring uh, from L uh, to R. Uh, we need to put, uh, so if the current is like the, the, we need to see if the number is, which which we just created if it is not empty, right? If that number is not an empty number, then we're going to process it. If that is the case, we're just going to process it, meaning uh, we're going to take the, the value of the, the number and put it into the current. So integer dot value of uh, this number okay and we're gonna say that this number is current dot add a new nested integer okay we're gonna add that to the current okay Okay, we are done with this one when if it is not empty, right? Also, if the stack is not empty, uh, like if the stack is basically not empty, what we need to do is to uh, take the value out of that uh, one and then uh, we, we take the value out of the that one and then because it could be, uh, wait one second, let me write it down, nested integer, let's call it pop because we're going to be getting it from the pop. We are just popping it so that we can add a new element to it. So we're going to say that pop dot add the current and then uh, current is going to become equal to pop. Nice. Okay. This is for the else if, right? And no, this is uh, for the No, this, where did we say that? Did I just delete that? No, I did not delete it. I need, this we only need to do it if the, if the stack is not empty. So we need to, uh, I think I just said it, but I didn't put the code in there. And that is empty. 
so if the stack is not empty then we're gonna be doing all that stuff yep okay if the stack is not empty then we can do that and now we're gonna again just like previously we're gonna be updating our L plus uh, uh, L is equal to R plus one okay last but not least what if it is else if the character is equal to a dot then that would be another point where we need to process it it's gonna be very similar uh, we're gonna say that uh, uh, our s dot character at uh, r minus one if that was not equal to a closing bracket uh, then we can process that we're gonna say that string num is equal to s dot once we have the number we're gonna say current dot add just like previously new nested integer of integer dot value of uh, value of that thing num okay and then just like previously we're gonna update our l to r plus one that would be it so once we are out of this for loop we can just return the current value current is the one where we are actually putting everything in current yep looking good and it works <laughs>